Hello everyone, and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the top 5 best earbuds. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I listed them based on their price, sound quality, durability and more. If you want to find out the price and more information about these earbuds, you can check out the links in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 we have the One More Triple Driver. The One More Triple Driver in-ear headphones offer stellar audio, great build quality and an attractive design with an affordable price tag. These are undoubtedly one of the best in-ear headphones out there for their money. The One More Triple Driver in-ear headphones feature a handsome design that is subtle yet stands out when you get your hands on them. The earbuds themselves are milled out of aluminum and feature a rose gold color and they are angled and offer a nice fit in the ear. They don't sit completely flush and they stick out very little. While that means you, that you shouldn't sleep with the triple drivers, they still maintain a nice low profile on your ears. The one more are, are comfortable and super lightweight earphones and have a wide range of different tip sizes and types, including phone tips, to help you find the fit that's more comfortable for you. However, if you do not generally find in-ear headphones comfortable, then you will have the same issues with the one more. The triple drivers are as stable as most in-ears that do not have any stability tips, so that's a great thing. Their sound quality is above average with very good frequency response but poor sound stage. They have an extended and punchy bass, excellent mids and very good treble. However, the in-ear and closed back design means they won't have an open and immersive sound stage, which is preferred for critical listening applications. So, should you buy them? Yes, because they are affordable and therefore they block ambient noise from seeping into your audio if you can achieve a good seal. You can even have your music playing at high volumes and not distract those uh, around you. Try them out for yourself and see if they work for you. Moving on at number 4 we have the Sennheiser IE60s. The headphones come with two different types of ear tips, each with three different sizes so you can find the perfect in-ear fit. A proper fit creates a seal in the ear to reduce ambient noise by as much as 20 decibels. This also helps to improve bass response and allows you to listen at lower volume levels without missing out on the details of your music. Optional flexible ear hooks are included for secure fit. Durable cable is pretty high quality and can be looped around the ears for ad additional stability. The headphones can be worn in a traditional manner as well, and included the cable clip lets you attach the cable to your clothing to minimize snags, tangles and friction noise. The 3.5mm stereo mini plug has angle strain relief to provide lasting durability. A cleaning towel and hard shell storage case are included to keep your headphones in great condition for years of enjoyment. It produces an excellent sound with a frequency range of 10 to 18,000 Hz with audio magnets which give complete sonic experience. They are also great because of the amazing noise isolation. They come with an ambient noise of 20 dB which makes them more efficient. A mid-range focus does have some benefits though. Vocals are pushed right in front of the mix, avoiding getting submerged under the other sonic layers as they often are in bass-centric sets. When used in public transportation, you have a feel of isolation. This is a good thing because you won't get distracted from the people and the noise around you. If you're looking for a compact and lightweight in-ear headphone with strong bass and want to spend less than $300, the ES60 should definitely be on your shopping list because they are definitely worth it and if you have the money for them, then go for them. At number 3 we have the Shure's SE2015. The Shure SE2015 are available in clear plastic or shiny black colors. The former is exposing the wires inside the housing and the gold connectors that form the earphone detachable mechanism. The body itself swivels around freely on the joint, with colored dots on each side of the gap showing you the position they need to be in to be pulled apart, red for the right side and blue for the left, so you don't get them mixed up.
Adding extra moving parts to something as fragile as an earphone is always a concern, but the cable connection seems very solid. A good hard yank is required to pull out the earpiece, and you should only need to do so if your cable packs it in. The SC215 is extremely comfortable and the negative profile allows for them to be worn while sleeping with your head in a pillow without poking your ear canal, and that's a very good thing. They also fit nicely under a full face helmet for those motorcycle riders living in places that the law permits them. It produces an excellent audio performance, vocals are similarly warm and full bodied, but still have a level of detail and nuance that's admirable at the price, and the kind of clarity that really suits the band's vocal harmonies. Combining detail and warmth is tricky to do, but Sherm has managed to do it. With outstanding physical construction, a 2 year warranty, excellent sound isolation and brilliant studio quality, this is easily one of the best sets of earphones you can buy for the price. Instead of looking for a fancy branded earphones which cost double the price of the SC250 and have half the features, you should definitely consider getting the SC215. At number 2 we have the RHA MA750i in-ear earbuds. The MA750i in-ears have a solid construction with stainless steel components and a thick durable cable that should help them with last much longer than your standard pair of in-ears. The stainless steel components make these headphones pretty durable and they will make your music listening experience much better. Surprisingly, there's only a small amount of bass support, which means these headphones would be better suited for bright sounds such as those found in classical music. The sound stage is very open and airy, with extremely good balance and dynamic contrast. In-ear headphones in this price range rarely sound this good, and the sound quality is challenging earbuds at a far higher price. The treble is no longer overstated, it's outstanding. The sound is totally balanced, straightforward and clean. The noise isolation is also very good, with the memory foam ear tips working particularly well. Another good thing is their isolation, which is pretty good for earphones. They do not go too deep in your ears, so some background noise will always be present as it is with most dynamic drivers. You can however increase the isolation by a few decibels if you are using the foam tips or multi-flange tips. The MA750i encourages you to get completely lost in your music, hear new subtle details and forget everything around you. These are not just for audiophiles, they are for everyone. If you consider yourself a person who is into music, then you should stop thinking and get a set of them, and I assure you that you will, be, you will not be disappointed in any way, because they are definitely worth it and I have used them personally so I really like them. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have the Bose Qualcomm 420i. At first glance, you'll easily notice that the Bose Qualcomm 420i doesn't look like your typical in-ear headphones. The dark and light grey headphones have silicon ear tips and uh, an extra fin that creates stability so it stays securely in your ear. The headphones also have an inline remote control and a microphone on its core. Also along the core there is the noise cancellation control box and the battery compartment. The battery compartment is slimmer and narrower than most noise cancellation headphones and can be kept in a pocket. They're fairly large as in-ears go, sticking out from the ear farther than most models on this list. On the plus side, the oddly shaped clear prongs on the stick ear tips look much less conspicuous once the buds are in the place. In fact, it didn't take long to really appreciate the funky tips, which not only created an excellent seal, but were also extremely easy to insert and remove. The sound is perfectly matched with the sort of comfort offered by the earphones fit and relaxing noise cancellation too. It's a zero fatigue, smooth sound that doesn't have a significant bias in either treble or bass, while offering decent balance, solid bass response and a decent bass depth. The fact that the ear tips are responsible for almost all of the actual noise reduction makes the QC20's performance much more impressive. Other noise cancellation headphones are typically only capable of drowning out common homes and drones, but the Bose QuietComfort 20i does much more than that. It can cancel sounds of uh, multiple frequencies like barking dogs, babies crying and even a car alarm. 
Whether you're sitting in a crowded bar, walking on a busy street or flying the friendly skies, these earbuds do a phenomenal job of isolating you from engines and voices. So, to conclude, I highly recommend these earbuds to everyone that is looking for a good set that will last you for a very very long time. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, you can find links to all these earphones down in the description and the comment section below, so if you wanna find out the price and more information about them, go check out the links there. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So yeah, thank you again for watching, I'll see you in the next video.